Welcome everyone to the Dorothy Lane Market here on Far Hills Avenue in the Dayton, Centerville, uh, Kettering area. And we're going to check it out today and see how it's doing amidst the coronavirus. Uh, this is one of their local markets that they have, uh, mainly just in the Dayton area. So join me as we check it out and see whether they're stocked or not. Look at all this, wood, fresh flowers. Wow, look at this, you guys, that's really cool. The Carousel Cafe, and it has an actual carousel up there. It's not a real full working one, it's just, you know, fake, but that's pretty cool looking. Wow, look at their deli department. That's a really cool sign. And their deli department is huge. Wow, look at the produce that they have in here. Ooh, those carrots are huge. They have a nice selection of produce in this one. Wow, you guys, look at this sign. That's really cool, the flavor, and it's all lit up with these little light bulbs like that. That's really cool. Look at this, they even have the Italian hearth oven brick pizza thing where they make their own pizzas. That is really cool. Here is a look at their fish department, or the seafood department, I should say. That's, wow. Everything looks super fresh and the presentation of things is spectacular. Oh, the signs in this place are awesome. Look at that neon sign. Is that not awesome? Wow, look at this sign. That's like neon overload. And then you can see down there, there's that the grill sign we were taking a look at. Wow, look at all the nuts and candies and different assorted trail mix stuff. All right, so at this store, they're out of King Arthur bread and flour. So this is all stuff for, for making bread, I would assume. And they're all out of that. Okay, so well, the cereal aisle is a little bit sparse, but not too bad. I love the layout of the store and just the overall aesthetics in this store is great. Well, I've made it to the aisle that has all of the paper products and you can see back there, it doesn't look too good. Let's go take a closer look. Yeah, see, even this store up in Dayton is doing limit one per customer and they don't have anything left either. I just, I, I don't understand the logic behind this, that people are buying this stuff before buying perishable foods, or non-perishable foods, I should say, not perishable. Look at these little bitty succulent trees. Are those not the coolest thing ever? And they're only, the little ones are $15. So apparently those people living in Dayton need a lot of organic pineapple chunks because there's none left. This brings us to the dairy section and just look at that amazing sign up there. I love it, the milk wagon. That's really cool, that light is really blinding. Let's see if I can get, there we go, that's much better. Gives you a look at that awesome sign. Look at the wine section, this is really cool. It's like its own little room. We're gonna go over here and take a look at these neon signs because they look super cool. Look at that. There's all these neon signs up here for all the different brewing companies and different things like that. That's really cool. Thank you for joining me here on this episode where we took a look at the Dorothy Lane Market here in the Dayton metro area. If you like this content, then why not head on over to patreon.com slash tilted tripod media. You can join for as little as $1 and get exclusive access to content only found on my Patreon page. And if you upgrade to a higher tier, you'll get so much more. Oh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash the bell icon right over here on YouTube, so that way you stay up to date on all the latest content at Tilted Tripod Media, and you don't miss a thing. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.